they're around to the left. Uh, let's see if we can find them first. Of course, I, I wanted to go right. I kind of feel like I'd rather gain a nice foothold somewhere. I feel, um, I feel like I don't have a good one. Alright, let's see. Let's go to the rookie. Riley. Riley the rookie. We'll send him up. Oh, okay, we got one, two. They're gonna run. Nice, just jump through the window. Don't worry, insurance will cover it. Alright, I got a 45% on that guy and a 45% on that guy. Alright. Let's see if my grenade can reach. Can't reach, but it'll make that a very unhappy car. So, we'll come back around to him. <coughs> Romano. Alright, so now he can see, and I got a 50%. Um, run and gun. No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to fire. I think. Alright, we're going to come back. And my sniper doesn't have the ability to do what the sniper can do later on. So we'll just go ahead and move him up there. And switch him over to the pistol so that he can overwatch. Romano, calm down. It is not your turn, all right? Just chill out. And Marguerite is going to move there. And if I need to, I should be able to put a smoke grenade on both of them. But that's just if I need to. So we're going to come back to him. Uh, Romano, go ahead and go ahead and make your attack. Let's see what we get. No, nope, that's gonna miss. Oh no, I got him! Wow, I thought that was gonna be a miss. All right, good job. Nice, nicely done there, uh, sir. Um. Then you can just go ahead and do an overwatch. And Riley, you've only got a 45% chance. And if you miss, you're going to get shot at. And you're probably going to get killed. I wonder if I should have him hunker down. But then I won't be able to see whether or not he overwatches. Of course, I could have him drop back to there, but that leaves us exposed on the left flank right now. Um, and that's way outside. It's just, it's not a good shot. It's a rough shot. Alright, you're gonna go ahead and hunker down. It's not, it's not my most favorite of plans, but I just, I gotta protect you. Okay. Alright, so he can't see him. Alright, I'm just trying to move up slowly. Right. Oh, oh fuck. God damn it. Well, since we run and gun, we might as well just take advantage of it. Aye, aye, Commander. Whoa, what just happened? Oh, because I was on top? I don't know why that did that. That was weird. Alright. Overwatch. And let's go ahead and move him up to there. And overwatch. How many people are going to shoot? Okay. Nice. Way to go. Uh, who is that? Not Ronan. No, no. Ronan. It's not Ronan. Alright, go ahead. Uh, Riley can... 
move up on the outside here. All right, and Overwatch. Uh, Ronin, Ronin, Ronin. You go ahead and keep providing backup to Riley. And Romano. All right, I almost feel like you're way out there. I'm gonna pull it, push you forward just for a second. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Oh, 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 yes, yes, you do that, you do that, because you know you want a grenade in your face. Both of you want a grenade in your face. I can tell. So there's a grenade for you. Yep. Goodbye. Thank you for playing. Palam. So yeah. Good work out there, oh, one. done. It's nice. Cool. And we got the two canisters of meld. So awesome. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts. Good job, team. Nice. Nicely done. I, I didn't. I didn't know it was going to be over in just the four, but uh, there it is. There it is. Head on back. Oh my gosh. Like, I'm arriving. The plane is landing, and they're already paging me somewhere. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. I would think so. It would be nice if, if uh, Riley had gotten a promotion, but, you know, what do you expect? All right. Each workshop adds five engineers to our staff. Adjacency bonus. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, so we're going to go to engineering and start looking at building facilities. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. Alright, just go ahead and start excavate. Oh, I can't reach that area, so I can't excavate it yet. We got steam down there, which means... Where we want? What do we want to start building here? I want to start building a satellite uplink. Commander, to the situation. Why can't I build it? I don't have enough money, and I don't have enough engineers. And I'm not doing. How much power do we have? 25 of 37. How much do we need? Three. So I'm not. So we're gonna do our satellite uplinks right here, because all we need is four connected in a box like this, and we can have all satellites up around the entire country. I mean, the whole entire world. Steam's down here, so we'll probably want to get a power thing there. Maybe do power down here. Um, so that'll be a satellite uplink. Workshop, maybe. Maybe. We'll have to look. All right, so we're good. Let's go to the Situation Room. The Council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. Okay, well, we'll do that. All right, so those three... Um, those are two together, those are three together, those are four together, and those four together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 16 satellites, I've got one up, so um, I need 15 more. I'm building two. All right. Let's take a look at the gray market. Anything we can sell? In acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. However, we should be careful in choosing what items we release. We won't sell anything just yet. Their true value yet. How are we doing on our uh, guy? Are they two more days. And all right, that's it then. I guess go to mission control. Mission control. Scan for activity. All right, now we get to learn about Meld because I don't know anything about this stuff. So, what is it, Doctor? It's remarkable. The crystalline structure housed within the canister is actually a suspension containing billions of cybernetic nanomachines, each made up of both organic and mechanical components. 
My team's analysis indicates these microscopic robots are capable of assembling mechanical structures with unprecedented efficiency. With further study and some specialized facilities, we may be able to engineer a sort of cybersuit that interfaces with the human body. My team is more interested in the possibility of physically altering the tissue itself, incorporating aspects of the alien's own genetic adaptations by using the nanites to fuse the foreign material. The commander will have to decide where the greatest advantage lies. Is there anything you agree on? Given the apparent purpose of the nanites, they allow combining organic materials with one another, or with machines. We have at least agreed to call them Meld. It's a good thing that you decided to call it Meld because on our first mission we were already uh, calling it Meld. So <laughs> I guess that's good. Uh, go ahead and assign some no, new research then. All right, well, that's kind of cool that we can do this other sort of stuff. All right, so be able to build mechanized exoskeleton suits and augment soldiers to wear them. This facility counts as a workshop for agent adjacency benefits. Use the build facilities option, blah, blah, blah. And the genetics lab. <clears throat> this annex to the research labs will allow us to genetically modify our soldiers. This facility counts as a laboratory for adjacency benefits. This is the build. Use the build facilities options in engineering to construct this facility. Wound recovery time is, re is reduced by 66%. Stacks with rapid recovery. Soldier regenerates two hit points per turn up to the max, eight, up to the hit point max without armor. Height itch confers an additional plus five to aim, plus five percent critical chance. Confers a plus ten aim on any shot after a miss. Kinetic strike module, a powerful arm upgrade for the mech, allowing the wielder to pulverize adjacent cover and enemies, also boosts mobility. Flamethrower allows the mech to lay waste to a cone-shaped area. Flame can spill outside the aiming area. All right, well then, I think we will go ahead and get started with some alien materials because I need some armor first. So, alien materials. This technology has a number of potential applications. I'm sure the science team is eager to begin. I'll notify you as soon as we have something significant to report. Okay, thank you. I appreciate I appreciate you notifying me as soon as you have something important to report. Significant, I'm sorry. Significant to report. We'll go ahead and start building... I can't build a workshop? Why not? Why can't I build a workshop? Because I need $130. I don't have $130. Uh, I'm not doing a power... G for adjacency benefits. I just... I You know what? I, I don't know this stuff very well. Um, we're going to go ahead and hold off for now. And I can't do the satellite uplink yet because I need more engineers and I can't do a workshop because I need more money. So we will do nothing at this point and we will just go back to the situation room. Situation room away. I'm sorry, mission control away. And scanning. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from Uh-oh. Uh oh, the council wants to talk to us. Hi. We've uncovered an alien plot to disrupt the transportation networks within a major Canadian municipality. I was expecting him to speak, but he didn't, so. If successful, this would lead to major interruptions in the distribution of goods and services to the general public. Intel is still coming in. Expect further details once our squad reaches the site. All right, launch the mission then. We look forward to seeing your progress. Yes, I appreciate that. Rookie Riley, let me see. Is she back? She is back. Amy Johnson is back. So we are sending her. 
she is ready to go. She's got a rocket launcher. She's got.